Right, we're live. Right, yeah, I can see actually it's got a little recording thing in the corner, I'll so. Let you know as well. Yeah. So, Paul, what do you like about your work? Um, what, what I like, what do I like about my work? Um, I, I like the fact that I get to talk to people. Um, and and uh, but, but I think I, the thing that I like more than anything else is I never know what that person's going to say. Even if I've spoken to ten people who've done jobs like that, or even exactly the same job, you just you never know what that one person's going to say. And and um, yeah, it, it's always uh, it, it's always um, incredible when they when they do. You know, their answer always leaves me with something new. Um, and yeah, I've ne never. I uh, never got that anywhere else. That's great. How did you get started? Um, well, I started out in recruitment, um, which, I, which I didn't enjoy at all, because um, it's very salesy and, and lots of uh, uh, and targets, very target driven, and, and that, didn't, uh, that, that wasn't a great fit with me. Uh, but there was one part of recruitment I liked, which was interviewing people, and the part where people um, you know, I learned more about um, how people, you know, went from doing one thing to another, their career stories really. And then um, I got a bit of a break because I got into a company that allowed me to uh, to focus on that part of um, of the work. So my my job, rather than interviewing people, then became interviewing people to to learn more about their career stories and and understand more about how you know one thing leads to another. Um, and um, about 12 years ago, um, I, I went independent. Uh, so I, I've been working for myself since, and and that's um, you know that's the core of what I do. Great. And what advice would you give to someone starting out today? Um, <laughs> I, what I would say to them is, even if you're not enjoying what you're doing. Um, it's going to teach you something. It's going to teach you something about the work itself, but it also teaches something about yourself. And and it's also going to be connected to you finding the thing that you do enjoy doing, or do like doing, or or, or do have some um, more of a connection with. Um, but it doesn't feel like that at the time. So so I suppose my, my advice would be to uh, to stick at it. And and if you're if you're not doing something you enjoy think about what it is you want to do and, and really think about the parts of it because there's going to be parts of it that, that aren't as bad as others and, and once you start separating those parts out you you know you, you then start to think about um, other things that, that you know you might get something more out of and and step by step you know careers are built step by step and and I think certainly when I was uh, starting out I just thought it was all going to come together for me. Um, at once, and, and I spoke. You know, maybe it does for some people, but I think there's there's a lot of people that it comes together in little pieces and little steps, and um, and knowing that, you know, actually knowing that those those steps, even the ones where where you're doing something you're not enjoying, are, are part of getting you to a place where you know you, you can be doing stuff that you 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 know it's not just about enjoyment, but but yeah, there, there's uh, there's parts of it that you really enjoy. Um, you know, I, that's the sort of thing I wish I'd have known back then. But um, you know, uh, and and you know, that, that's the sort of thing that I'd I'd say to somebody who's starting out today for sure.